Can you believe this? It was 20 years ago that Michelle Pfeiffer received her first Academy Award nomination for her role in Dangerous Liaisons. Now, Michelle has reteamed with that film's writer and director, Stephen Frears, on Cherie. And Michelle Pfeiffer is with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. You don't mind my saying you look terrific. Thank you so much. No, I don't mind it at all. Oh, that's a good way to start. Uh, so this is in the neighborhood of dangerous liaisons in terms of period-ish. Well, not really. Not really? I mean, only in that it's, a, it's, it's, it's Stephen Frears and Christopher Hampton, and it's a period piece. Right. But other than that, there really is. So the really. novel by Colette, and uh -huh. you play a woman who is? A courtesan. And uh, what Spell that, out what that means. Well, you know, it's interesting because we hear that word, and I think I've always assumed it was just sort of a French fancy word for prostitute, mm -hmm. but actually there's a big difference. Um, it's probably... I guess the most equivalent to a modern day call girl, they were, um, but it's during, but what was interesting is it was during a period of time where women didn't really have any rights at all. And your character reaches a certain point in life. A, yes, a certain <laughs> point in life. <laughs> a certain age, yes. perhaps. A certain age, yes. And she decides what? Well, you know, she doesn't need to work anymore, mm -hmm. and um, you know, um, a, a courtesan's uh, physicality um, and beauty is really a tool of her trade. Yeah. And when that starts to go, as it inevitably does, you sort of know that your that sort of lifespan is coming to an end. Right. And she knows that. And she ends up involved with a very, very young man who mm -hmm. is... Rupert Friend. 19? 20-ish in the film? I think he's... Is it, is it 19, 20? Yeah, yeah, yeah. around there. Okay. Around right. there. I'm going to take a look and let's just see okay. this. He never says a word. There's something about him, something <laughs> mysterious. I can't explain. We were just talking about you. If I were a woman, Monsieur Cherie, I think I'd say I'll come back in ten years' time. Wouldn't do you much good, would it? And how interesting, though, this notion of the age difference. And I was thinking about one of your other movies, not so many years ago, right? You did the John Le Carré movie with uh, Sean Connery. Actually, that's been a few years ago. Well, okay, well, that's... But, point well taken. Yeah. I know. And it was um, almost, almost 30 years difference. I think, I think so. I, was, I thought it was 20, and then I was corrected that it was actually 30. And, yeah. You know, yeah, it's uh, one of those double standards that exists. Maybe not so much anymore. Uh, well, it's sort of still changing, but... It's not without controversy. We can put it Not that without way. controversy. There you we go. wouldn't be making movies about it. <laughs> um, I don't have buckets and buckets of time with you, but there's a great profile of you in in style and I want to read a quote from you in it from you, me. yes okay and you're talking about uh, wearing jeans uh, I've given up funky things like wearing Converse high tops and sundresses no more mini skirts it's not that my legs are bad it just looks silly I have one pair of skinny jeans that I keep trying to wear but they last all of seven minutes on me I feel like pork sausage true I can't imagine in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> That's not ever words that would ever come up to describe you. Oh, well, thank you. There you go. I do feel like pork sausage and skinny jeans, though. You would, too. <laughs> I don't own any. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming You're by. You're welcome. Really do appreciate it.